Hello. Hello again. I know it's been a long time since I've done a video, but I thought I'd jump in on something that I was just playing around with uh, that I think might help some of you. So, basically, we've probably all come across this where you'll be uh, working on a big environment and you'll be painting away or doing some things and suddenly your landscape material is acting strange and doing stuff like this where we see you know randomly a uh, part of your landscape will have uh, the default checker material kind of override what you're doing and essentially this is based on the amount of layers that you have so you know you can see here we've got a couple of different things going on we've got like a slope material uh, we have our you know basic uh, flat material and then we can see that I've got a kind of custom one painted here and we have you know this kind of going on which is me sort of sitting uh, doing city planning kind of stuff I've uh, hidden all of the buildings and whatnot on this uh, scene just so we can see the issue clearly but basically yeah it's based upon the amount of layers that you have so if we was to go into our paint mode you can see we've got all these different uh, paint layers and essentially per proxy um, which is obviously these tiles within our world partition landscape each proxy can only have up to a certain amount before uh, you have to figure out other ways of doing that you know whether it's baking uh, stuff down um, or combining materials to sort of do the job of others so if you have like a you know your flat ground one uh, here well, I've, I've got two layers doing this but eventually I'll probably actually get uh, this kind of baked into each other so it would take up one rather than two uh, if that makes sense but I'm not going to get into those parts I'm going to show you really how that you how you can visualize this and see the problem uh, because there are a couple of visualizers which I never used before and they're very handy to sort of tell you exactly uh, if you're riding along the limit or not. Um, so if we were to come into our view mode settings up here in the right, we have this visualizers section and then we have these layer options which essentially tell us everything we need to know about whether or not we're going over our budget or not. Um, so as I say, I'll say again, this is not really a way of getting past it. Uh, the issue is kind of, uh, you know, fixed into the engine uh, and you have to figure out other ways of getting around it but I'm just showing you how you can see that you've got this issue um, for this particular thing so one of these options is our layer density view mode which shows uh, an overlay colored overlay heat map or where you've painted or how many layers are on each proxy um, or components sorry so you've got your proxy and then that's made up of multiple components um, so this shows you per component uh, the heat map for how many layers are within that. So you can see here we've got a few problem areas dying around when you're in this uh, very bright red. It'd be good if they had like a heat map uh, key on this. But yeah, at, at, when we're in our bright red, you can see here this is red, but this is bright red. That is the level where suddenly Unreal goes from... Uh, rendering what you expect to kind of basically doing its own kind of crash it's not a crash but it basically defaults back because you're hitting above the limit and it doesn't know what to do um, so yeah that is layer density that's basically a way of saying okay I've got too much going on in these areas our other option uh, is layer usage this is probably the most useful uh, but uh, kind of a bit weird it just kind of tells you literally in numbers how many uh, layers are affecting that component so you can see over here we're in the one uh, we're in the two and the three sort of range generally and then as we come over here we're hitting the fours the fives and then in this really bright red one that we were on a second ago we are hitting seven layers which is 
way too much uh, for the engine to handle. So that is basically how you can visualize these and see them. Um, but it might get a bit confusing because you might be like, oh well, what layers uh, are they? And there is a way of seeing that and I'll show you shortly. But basically with this, you just want to manage yourself uh, to a maximum of four. Four is kind of the limit, uh, it seems, before you start getting issues. Five, you can get away with, as you can see. Um, I've got five on this uh, component in this proxy, and it's rendering okay. But five is the maximum, absolute maximum, and four is the kind of high top limit you want to be hitting. Um, and basically, yeah, so you want to be within the one to four range is, is good. I imagine for performance, it's probably better to stay uh, everything as low as possible, which makes sense because it's just more materials, uh, which means, you know, you're taking up too many resources. So how then do we want, uh, if we want to see exactly what ones are the problems, uh, we have another option, which isn't visible until you go into your landscape mode um, so you want to come into landscape mode up here and you can see we have this color system which kind of helps some ways it's you know it's telling you we've got one two three four five six seven colors in here so it tells you what layers are affecting that component based upon the matching colors in here so we can see we've got the stones layer uh, we've got the dirt layer, um, mud, blah blah blah, but that might get a bit confusing because that doesn't really show you where that is. Um, so once we're in landscape mode, you then get a new option for layer debug. Now this one is the most handy one. Um, I had it already set, but you'll probably come onto it and see it's all black and kind of be like, oh, why is that? I don't what is this doing to help me but basically on the left on your landscape layers you see they're all set to this none option and then we have an RGB and essentially this is just you could select RGB red blue uh, red green blue to visualize that layer so if we choose the auto layer and we select it to red or green or blue it will show us that layer um, actually as it's how it's painted essentially on the map and this then allows you to you know visualize all of your other ones and you can start to say okay this is the the one that's in there um, and we can identify the other layers because they're black and so we know that there's a couple of layers here and obviously we've identified with the uh, layer density visualizer that this area is a problem and it's not rendering um, so we would focus on this area go into debug mode and then we'd try and find out which one is the problem and we've only got a couple of colors to uh, play with essentially so we know that dirt is the main one so I'm not going to visualize that we're now going to try and find the others so we can see I've got a sand layer here um, I know for a fact it's not probably got jagged rock nearby, I don't know, maybe not. Um, stones, yep, so obviously I can't choose red, so I'm going to choose green. So we've got a sand layer, uh, blue for mud, we've got a little bit here and there, um, something I'd probably remove, I'd ask myself do I really need it, um, but for now it's fine, it's not in the actual problem zone. Um, yeah, and it's just about going through and checking what you've got. So yeah, we can see RGB, I've got uh, these layers. These are the three layers that are probably putting us over the limit because our auto layer, which I'll quickly visualize in red, uh, is a complicated one. So that's probably made up of multiple uh, th uh, things. Um, so we've got the auto layer, we know the dirt layer is there, so that's two, three, four, five, um, and then have we got any others? Nope. So it's identifying, trying to identify what are the six, uh, the seven, 
Are we on seven? Seven. So there's yeah. So there's seven in here. Uh, so we should have a stones layer, a little bit of a stones layer, which is probably actually the one causing the problem. So if we visualize that in red, oh no, yeah, we know that for a fact. So what's the other one then? Um, usage. So <clears throat> this is where you would jump between them. So auto layer, we know that's there. We cannot. We're not going to ever get rid of that. Mask green. I know that that's a vital one in this instance. So I'm not going to get rid of that. Mask blue. Okay. So there's some of this in there, which for me is just a uh, non-required one. Okay. So we have some of that hidden under here. So, our red one is this, our stones layer. You then have to make the decision of, do I need it? Um, if you do, and you need all of these things, you need to figure out a way of baking them in or using assets to do them if they're so small um, and figure it out other ways. But the way to kind of clean it up is we're going to get rid of it. So I'm going to hold shift and get rid of that paint layer. So, in theory, there should now be six on the usage numbers. Yep, so we have six layers in this component. Uh, we can take off the visualizer and see if that's fixed it, which it hasn't because obviously five is going to be uh, probably our hard limit and maybe even four. So we go back down to debug and now we find our next one. We know stones isn't there, so the other one was sand. So I'm going to now remove the sand layer, which will take us down to 5. Make this a bit harder of a brush. So we now should be down to 5. Yep. And then if we go to normal, we can see that it's brought back our landscape because we are not exceeding the, um, the limit. Um, yeah, so that is basically that and I won't really go into any more detail, it's as, it's as simple as that. Uh, you can use those tools to yeah, show you where your problems lie and you can see that now if we go to our density still very high, we're at the, you know, we don't really want to be in these reds ideally but this is, your up, this is your limit, your upper limit for each component. Hopefully that helps and yeah, see you in the next one.